Okay, you actually crossed party lines to join former state controller H. Carl McCall and former New York City Mayor Ed Koch, both Democrats, to write a letter, an open letter, saying that you felt that Carl Palladino was unfit to serve. Now, Carl Palladino was on this show and he had a response. I'd like you to respond to his response if you just take a listen to it. And, and, and Alphonse has finally come out of the closet. Alphonse has finally declared himself a Democrat now. That's wonderful. I'm really proud of him. I think he should have done it a few months ago. He should have told people, yes, he is in Cuomo's pocket. Yes, he is supporting Lazio. He sent Finkelstein over there to, uh, uh, to run the Lazio campaign, and he failed. Now, all of a sudden, he's open and he's joining Koch. Interesting. Okay, so he's a pretty plain-spoken well, guy. <laughs> I never knew I was in any closet, number one. Uh, so let, let's get that straight. Not in the closet. Uh, num Got it. Number two, uh, I am a, a Republican. I'm a proud Republican, but I'm not afraid to endorse a person who I, I think, particularly in the state that I live in and that I love and that has been so good to me, who will do the best job. And I think that Andrew Cuomo, I'm a Republican, so, and I'm proud of it, will be a, a, a better governor for this state. So you're now, formal that happens to be... <clears throat> you're formal I'm, I'm saying, Cuomo. Well, listen, I believe he'll be a better governor uh, than will, will Carl Palladino. One. Number two, um, I did not encourage Rick Lazio to run for governor. As a matter of fact, I think he should have run for the Senate. Uh, I told Rick Lazio that. I uh, did not urge him to run, as a matter of fact. I had quite a dispute with his campaign manager or his strategist, who happened to be a dear friend of mine, uh, with respect to that. Uh, so I, I thought it was a poor choice. I didn't think that he would do well. And uh, the fact is that Carl Palladino has tapped into something. And that's people's anger and frustration at what they've seen take place in Albany, which has been...